All right, so I'm going to install a CB Performance uh, Maxi 26 spool flow. Uh, make sure you clean the sucker before you stick it in there, but I've already re-tapped it because there were six millimeter studs. Um, kind of widen the hole right here. And now I'm going to put studs in here just to help me guide it in before I stick it in there. Uh, it kind of also help uh, hold the gasket and stuff in place. All right, so I'm going to be using Aviation uh, Protex. I just think it's a, a good fit for the old pump. Um, <clears throat> isn't like super thick. Uh, it does a pretty good job sealing. Just don't get crazy with it. It can make a mess for sure. But uh, we're going to put that on our first gasket on both sides. It won't bore you. All right, so we got it coated uh, pretty evenly on both sides. Go ahead and put her on there. Ah, come on. Try to be gentle with it. Oh, Freaking rip. Now for the pump, make sure that you have the hole facing towards the uh, camshaft. Also too, sorry I forgot, I loose this nut, this nut, and that nut. Oh well. Yep, and that's kind of why I did it. Everything seems to be pretty lined up. I'm going to give her a couple taps. Yeah, that was fairly easy. Now I'm going to coat the other gasket. Alright, <clears throat> got my second gasket on there. Now I'm going to put the pump cover on. Uh... <clears throat> Should have put the gears in first, but I'm going to use um, this grease to put on top of the all the gears. We'll lube them up a lot, uh, make sure they're good. Kind of help uh, the suction on the first start. You want to make sure this little uh, dot is facing out when you install it. Um, I would put the top gear in first and align it with the crank. Probably be a lot easier. And also, too, um, there shouldn't be a lip. Like when that's fully in there, you shouldn't have this gear protruding out. Uh, it'll be kind of bad. And then the dot is facing out. <laughs> I've been told it doesn't matter if you line them up, but heck, why not, you know? Now I'm going to square a little bit in here for a good measure. I've seen people use regular grease. I don't, I don't know if I really agree with that. Grease that I'm putting on right now I mean, is kind of what it was meant for. But now we're going to put our cover on. So, right now I'm just kind of test fitting. Um, I want to put thread locker on there, Loctite, uh, before I actually do the final torque. But I just want to make sure that these go in um, nice and easy and everything threads, you know, by hand. If you have to get crazy with it, you might want to stop, you know? <clears throat> Alright, so everything's fitting nicely. Um, I was a little worried with the, me tapping it out. So now I'm going to take them back out individually and um, put thread locker on them and torque them. I'm going to torque them to, I'm going to, torque them to 15 foot-pounds. 
Um, we've seen a couple different answers on that torque, but I'm going to do 15. All right, so that's it uh, for now until I get this uh, engine mounted. Um, I won't be doing anything else, but make sure that you torque these back down. But yeah, uh, also too, I uh, would make sure that, uh, you know, using your flywheel or your crankshaft, that when you rotate, you don't hear anything crazy going on there. I hear some squishy sounds, but other than that, <laughs> that's just from the grease. But all right, if you got any questions, um, comment, let me know. And uh, I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Uh, like the video and subscribe. Thanks.